Singapore must be one of the few places in the world where a statutory board satisfactorily completed everything it set out to do in its first five-year plan. Yet this is what the Housing and Development Board has succeeded in doing, and the evidence of their success stands eloquently in all parts of Singapore for all to see. In 1960, the first year of the Housing Board, the first five-year plan was drawn up calling for the building of 51,031 housing units by the end of 1965. And by the middle of 1965, the target had been exceeded. Well over 400,000 people, a quarter of Singapore's population, has been rehoused in the last five years in these bright, modern, airy flats. Nowhere in the world, except in Russia and West Germany, is the rate of rehousing faster than in Singapore. As part of the board's celebrations to mark the completion of the first five-year programme and the solving of the housing shortage, an exhibition was held on the site of the former Utram jail. Plans and models were on display illustrating the board's new projects for the next five years. By far the most stimulating and exciting is the far-reaching scheme to rebuild a new city on the site of the old dilapidated buildings and unhealthy slums. This is how the new Singapore will look. Multi-storey blocks of apartment houses, commercial houses, restaurants, hotels, theatres, shopping centres and markets. Roads planned so the traffic can flow smoothly even when the number of cars and lorries has increased fourfold. As Prime Minister Mr Lee Kuan Yew said, the people of Singapore demand high standards of their governments and they are prepared to work hard and are capable of high skills. For them the sky is the limit. Singapore is acquiring the one hallmark of a great civilised community. Magnificent buildings plus comparable workers' housing. Thank you.